Hello, I'm Tilheim, and welcome to Civilization 6. So, I am very excited. I've literally, what I've done so far is open up a very small game. I think first time I'm playing, I'm going to be Harold Hardrada. And see how this goes. All the victory conditions on. King difficulty, standard size map, continents. Let's do this. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. All men fear the approach of your ships, King Harold of Norway, Thunderbolt of the North. Your longboats dominate the waves, always at the ready to unleash their berserker armies on an unsuspecting shore. May Odin bless your kingdom, and may the skulls sing tales of the victories of your mighty warriors. Okay, so, I'm actually hoping to play this game kind of going tall, and then using Viking longships and berserker armies to plunder all the resources which I'm then going to invest into maybe four or five key cities. Let's found this here. Let's move these guys around. Now this is the first time I've played, so I have no idea what to expect. Probably want to get a slinger. Might stick to kind of the recommended stuff a bit early on. Okay, let's get... Get a pottery. If I'm going to go tall of my initial cities, I'm going to try and get some food online. I well, great works. I'm still getting used to the hotkeys. There we go. The arrow keys rather than W, A, S, and D. Lesson learned. Next turn. I've got jade. Cattle. Stone and rice. And it is beautiful graphics. Our city state neighbors have made a request of us. If we can impress them, I think they will reward. So what is what do they want? What is their quest? Get plus two faith in the capital, because they're a Religious city-state. Receive a relic every time you discover a new natural wonder. And 50% faith in all relics. I should get that because I am going to be able to explore the seas super early because I am Norway. Send a trade route to them. Okay. Let's probably try and get a trade route. Sent to Candy then. So if I can get to three, I can get that awesome relic bonus. Oh god. Barbarians. Okay, what I've heard so far is that the Barbarians are insanely strong. So I want to focus on building an army, because I'm going to be use it to, using it to raid and pillage people, let's be honest, I'm Norway. So that's a good investment. Okay, so what does this go? Barbarian Spearman. What was discovered? A friendly tribal village. Oh, there it is. Progress towards military, military tradition has been boosted. Ah, oh, of course, there's a different tech tree for culture and science. Okay, I'm seriously excited. All this new stuff. I've been waiting for ages for this game. Like, I have to admit, I've been so excited watching every first look video. And then, now it's out. I kind of, like, lost a bit of interest. I guess because of the Endless Legend new expansion. As if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. Because I got super excited. Oh wait, 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 what? Oh, it's only got a range of one. Okay. But yeah, there was the new Endless, Endless Legend expansion. There was stuff from Warhammer Total War. So they've kind of got left a bit behind, but now I'm actually playing it. I'm kind of super excited. Okay, let's just get animal husbandry and mining. I'm still not entirely sure how the Eureka system works. Like, I know how it works, but I'm not sure what all the Eureka bonuses are yet, like how you get them. Or how important they are. Okay, right, these guys are, are smashing me. 
Oh, sweet. So rage units have a reduced attack from being damaged. All units have a reduced attack from being damaged. Perhaps I should have got a bit bigger army before I engage this. Yeah, I've already lost my slingers. Note to self, don't head towards the barbarian camp if you're not strong enough. Right, it's army building time. The barbarians just trashed me. Okay, so... In barbarian archers. Season, our government can be of great benefit. At his best, man is the noblest of all animals. Separated from law and justice, he is the worst. Okay, so change policies. Well, obviously, I want strength against barbarians. I think I want extra production to get an army going. Let's set this as my initial. My initial policy tree. And let's choose a civic. Okay, what do I want to get? Let's go over a second continent. Let's get that. I'm probably going to get the Eureka bonus, I guess. Although at the moment, I'm kind of army building rather than exploring. Got good food. Not too great culture. Can I buy an item with gold? It costs 240 gold to get the monument. Okay, next turn. I guess I want to keep my cities relatively coastal. Sweet! Barbarian horsemen down. Let's get, this, let's get this guy. If there are no dogs in heaven. Then when I die, I want to go where they went. Get this guy back inside the city because he is smashed. Let's fortify him until healed, and let's get archery. Or well, maybe I need, I need spearmen. I think. Get Viking longship there. That's quite cool, actually. Let's research that. Found a city on the coast. Choose Pantheon. Da -da God of the Forge. I might actually need that. It'll only be useful early game, but... I think I'm going to need an army. Sweet, my Lodge of Mysticism has been boosted. Oh my god, these barbarians! Get the second warrior out there. And let's produce another warrior. So I must get the uh, military bonus from being on the mountain, and a military bonus against barbarians. The city's now under siege. Team my guy doesn't heal when he's inside. I'm loving the combat animation so far. Okay, right. Just fortify until healed. And get this guy. To fight some barbarian horsemen. Plus six from ideal terrain. 
This looks like terrain makes a huge difference to military strength. This guy's got promotion. It looks like I can't choose it yet. Heal up. These guys got a promotion, did they? There we go. Looks like I can't choose it. How do I promote him? Does he maybe have to be out of the city? He needs to be out of the city. I should try to attack these guys with these guys first. Oh. Already fortifying until healed. These guys should do the same. Okay, fortified. One more turn, I'll get another warrior. Maybe I should get a slinger then. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> Let's kill some barbarian horsemen. And construction-wise, let's get a another warrior. Yeah, why not? So I want to find iron because I think the berserker unit needs iron. Let's see what promotions I can get. Here we go. Promotion available. Get tortoise. Yeah, let's get towards this. These guys, oh, they can get the promotion available now. Let's get towards this as well. On to next turn. So I'm beginning to have some success against the barbarians after just spamming military units. Luckily, I'm still getting a lot of gold from zero expenses. Who do your first few units cost zero upkeep? So I've boosted my bronze working knowledge. Vessels large may venture more. Here we go. my moving there. Get this guy healing up. Choose research time. So where are the berserkers? There they are. Military tactics. Kill a human with a spearman. Need to get a harbor. So maybe, actually maybe I should get mining first. That's a bit that's a bit far ahead. Map options. Let's hide the grid and hide the, res the resource icons. I don't like that shit. Kill them. I should heal up. This guys are doing pretty well. Healing up. And next turn. I just realized all the. There's multiple graphics designs for each unit. These guys have got these guys have got axes. These guys have got maces. I like that. All right, it's fun. You get some buildings, and it, you actually see it being produced in the city center. I'm actually really liking the graphical changes in this game. Okay, next turn. Need more amenities and need more housing. Is there a way I can see that? Here we go. 
displeased. Construct a granary, improve luxury resources. I'm guessing we're going to need to get a builder. Is there a way you can add additional is there a construction queue? Uh, maybe not. Who deserves more credit than the wife of a coal miner? Okay, so I can change the production, but I can't add a queue. I don't think. Never mind. Let's begin moving my units towards this barbarian camp. And research-wise, I want to get astrology, so I can build my holy site. That's the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. The world. Um, maritime industries that could be useful. But I'll keep this for the time being. And civic-wise, let's see what else I can get. Let's get craftsmanship. Oh, that's good. I get that with my 25% reduction from my from my uh, religion thing. Never again can I Here we go. Gaze upon the beauty spots of the earth and enjoy them as being the finest thing I have ever seen. Create a lake is above them all. Interesting. So what did that give me? Plus four faith and plus one science. Totally worth it. <clears throat> Should probably get a settler out at some point. But maybe I'm more I'm more interested in coastal cities. You're a proper Viking. And primarily explore the seas. Let's get these slingers. I could clear out the barbarian camp. And here we go. Actually, this looks like an ocean here. Put one city, two city, three city. I can get access to two different seas and the crater lake. This guy fortified into healed. This guy's moving up. Crossing the river. Wonder completed. An unmet player has finished the world wonder Stonehenge. An unmet player has been defeated. It's ten thirty-eight. Recently gained advanced knowledge in city planning, creating districts in our. I don't believe in astrology. I'm a Sagittarius, and we're skeptical. <laughs> I like that. All right. Let's get. To do plantation, maybe. Actually, no. Let's get let's get celestial navigation. Try and get a harbor up. Major victory. Let's build a settler. Boom! Right, let's get healing. I want to put my city on. Actually, I'm not sure. I don't think it stops growth when you're building a citizen. No, you're still getting growth. 
think maybe it just does minus one population when you finish the settler. Here you go. Due to city population by one when completed. Let's move my army down towards my capital anyway. I'll get one of these guys attached to the settler, and the rest of them can try and find this barbarian camp. Now, the city not having an attack is like, feels like a major difference. Sweet. This guy's got a moving there. To right click them to get rid of them. Lesson learned. I want to get access to iron. It's bronze working. Kill three barbarians. I've done that. I'll research that next. That guy's going down. How many goes? These two units have promotions available. Is that a barbarian camp spawning? I think it might be. Anyway, let's attach with the warrior and move to there. Get tortoise. Right into healed and let's get a trader. I think I can also purchase something now. Let's purchase the monument. And again it appears in the center so you can see it. Which I think is very cool. Let's kill some barbarian horsemen. Okay, so let's swap out my economic one. Oh, it's a military pos policy. I may want to keep that there. Okay, I'll keep it as it is. I want to try and get to the governments as soon as I can. Right, let's assign. Uh, let's keep that as it is. Um, it'll do. How do I get? The governments. Ancient philosophy. Conscription? That could be good. Let's get this. Right. So you moving towards my city? Let's kill some barbarian archers. These guys need to fortify until healed. Let's move here, and can I now found the city? Obviously you need some movement to be able to found. 
Oh, warrior down. Okay, let's found the city anyway. Tromso. From I don't know. Let's get a Viking longship. Rather than my terrible attempt at Norwegian. Tomsu? I don't know. If anyone knows how you pronounce it, can you please inform me? Because I am actually trying to learn Norwegian. I am level 5 Duolingo. And I'm far too proud of that. Okay, what does this city need? It needs amenities, I think. It does not have enough food to grow. Is there no food tiles? Well, they're going straight to the faith tile. Guess kind of makes sense. That means I should build a granary, though. Which is to buy a granary? 160. Got to take a while. Look at my first holy site. Get a bonus there and a bonus there. Remove the rice. Get a builder. So what does rice do? Get a candy. To bringing riches to our civilization, this trade route will gradually develop Oh, of course! Trade routes develop roads. I forgot about that. I gained another envoy. When I get three, I receive a relic every time I discover a new natural wonder. So I should probably build a holy site. Actually, let's let's do that. Let's build a holy site. Um Actually no, let's get the builder first. You're going down, Scout. He's running away to the camp. Talking about the camp, let's get these guys moving towards the camp. Because it's right there. And on to the next turn. Okay. Can this guy fight? No, he can't. So if, I, if I can surround the camp, can I prevent it from spawning people? Set your course by the stars, not by the lights of every passing ship. Nice. Wrong button. Okay, so, new quest. Destroy a brain outpost in five tiles. That must be that one. And my roads have been upgraded. Right, what do I research now? What am I missing? Let's probably try and get this one. Get the campus. Anyway, next turn. What should I build now? Oh, I've got the builders! Okay, so... Let's toggle the resource icons again. Let's tell me what rice does. I guess not. Where's irrigation? Build a quarry. And... Let's build a holy site. 
Next, the forest. I need to build it there, but... Trees aren't helping. Build it there. And next turn. These guys here. Stay mate, but I have him surrounded. This guy... Build the r farm on the rice. You have plus one influence points per turn. Government and policies are the primary sources of influence points. It's just, it's just smashed this guy to shreds. New Orleans style Spanish rice achievement. I've no idea what that is or how I got it. But I got it. Come in improvement farm. Let's build the farm on the wheat. Play that barbarian camp. These guys can get back home to heal up. And next turn. And candy is now. I'm now the suzerain of candy. So if I discover new natural wonders, I'll get relics. Which should be okay, because I'm going to get my Viking longship soon. And go exploring. Build a farm here. So I need irrigation before I can get the coffee. That should be my next focus. Because I need some amenities. A strong economy begin Do I need any of this? No, not really. Actually, yeah, let's get that. Maritime Industries. To get 100% production towards... Boats. Uh, I'll try and get this. Let's get Early Empire first. So let's do that. Writing means sharing. It's part of the human condition to want to share things. Thoughts, ideas, opinions. Right, what should I research now? I want to try and get irrigation. Here we go. I get the plantation and get that coffee. That'd be quite nice. Get some luxury resources. More amenities. Are they content now? Got good housing. So why is that little thing there? The little icon. It's like insufficient housing, but apparently they're fine. Who knows? What is this? Gypsium. What is gypsium? Gypsium is a luxury resource. Okay. I know some people have like all these options on all the time, like the yield icons and the grid. But to me, they're kind of just like. They're like that nice. Cattle's a bonus resource. I would say milk is definitely a luxury. Because it's so awesome. Can I barely buy anything? Let's have a look. No. Well, I, I'm almost at the granary. Get that soon. Technology-wise, I'm going to try and get to... Do -do -do, military tactics. To get there, I need to get currency, mathematics, and then military tactics. Let's get currency. Oh, wait a second. I need to find iron first. Iron working, bronze working, here we go. 
So I need iron. I'm guessing... Wait, do I need iron for the... Berserker? No, I don't. Four movement if this unit starts at enemy territory. That's badass. It's designed for going raiding. Another player has been defeated. That's crazy. This world is already looking this world is already looking like it's gonna be a much less inhabited place. Okay, let's get a shrine. Just get another builder. Production wise. Get another Viking longship. I'm just gonna buy the granary. The one's building all the wonders. Like over the past, with its changing empires that rose and fell. And you can foresee the future too. Policy wise, do we need anything here? Nope, I'm liking the extra production. Let's keep that exactly as it is. So I thought these guys could enter deep ocean. Is that kind of part of the thing from being the the Vikings? Maybe I need shipbuilding. Let's have a look. Yeah, the ability to enter ocean tiles after researching shipbuilding. Okay, so I need shipbuilding. So after currency, I shall get shipbuilding. So I want to explore the oceans. My liege. We are beginning to attract the attention of the great people of the world. Of course, there are other leaders vying for their attention too. Okay. The more specialized districts we construct, the more we will draw in specialized great people to share their talents with our civilization. Okay. I advise that we continue to build these. I shall do that. So got a great space for one great work, and these are the great people. Okay. So I am heading towards Great Profit. Oh, I thought I was doing well towards a Great Profit. I'm obviously not doing that well towards a Great Profit. Oh, Faith doesn't automatically lead to a Great Profit this time around. You actually have to get Great Profit points. This is my knowledge of 6-6, six, six, holding knowledge of 6-5, I mean. Teaching me bad habits. So that's crabs. Pissing crabs are a luxury. Another bonus. Okay. That's new. Get the plantation. What's that? Pearls. Pearls are a luxury. Yes, they are. We want to get a campus. Let's get a shrine. Let's go full great profit. And next turn. Wealth consists not in having great possessions. Having few wants. What a beautiful quote. And I can't raid, not enough movement points left. Go to next turn. Let's get that luxury. Now let's get some more farms. Oh yes, I was going to buy the granary. Let's do that now. And this guy can attack this guy. Major victory. Power to the Vikings.
And on to the next turn. Uh, I'm taking some damage, but I'm still I'm still fine. Yes, because we're the Vikings, we can heal in neutral waters. Rest and repair. And I think we're going to finally beat this guy. There we go. This guy needs to rest and repair, but can I pillage that barbarian camp? Maybe not, because it's got people on it. Yeah. Uh... Already got that, because I am the Vikings. We're in a formation, interesting. Get a plus one movement. the next turn. Build a mine. We can do that. Oh, can I have Viking Raid? That Viking Camp, I can. That is awesome. Okay, do what do I want to get? Get another warrior. Go barbarian hunting. But I think I'll end this first episode here. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And have a great day.